Hi there and welcome to Faith Talks. I'm glad you could join me. This month, we've been using the word pursue and we talked about pursue peace and pursue love. And you can go back on my YouTube and watch those if you missed them. But today we're gonna talk about pursue joy. Just like pursuing peace and pursuing love, joy is a choice you have to make. It's not something that just falls on you. You have to determine that you're going to be in joy regardless. And in fact, it's something that you have to predetermine. You have to make a decision before a circumstance or a challenge comes and you're praying for joy. No, you have to decide beforehand. I'm going to live in joy no matter what. Now, challenges happen to all of us. Things happen we get sad, we get di discouraged. Opportunities come up all the time to challenge our joy. But like I said, when you make that decision beforehand, then you can walk through a situation or a circumstance and have joy right in the middle of that situation. Nehemiah eight ten in the Amplified, it says, be not grieved or depressed, but the joy of the Lord is your strength. The other day I had an opportunity to practice this because I kind of was feeling a little, I wasn't feeling sad or down. I just had no energy, but I kept speaking to myself. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I just kept saying that over myself in a matter of no time. That feeling that I had just left me. The joy of the Lord is down in here. And if you're filled with the spirit, then it's a fruit of the spirit. And it's something that you're going to have to pull out. Joy doesn't see the right now. It doesn't focus on the temporary. Joy sees by faith what's down the road. Joy can stay expectant because it's not based on the temporary. Joy is for the hard times and it will carry you through. James 1, 2 tells us to count it all joy for the trials, the temptations, the challenges that we go through. Now, he's not saying, you know, be happy about the trial, but he's saying count it all joy so that when you're in that challenge, you're in that temptation, that you can get through it with joy. Make a predetermined decision that you're going to have joy regardless of the circumstances. Remaining in joy has everything to do with what you meditate on. If you're going to focus on the problem, you're going to focus on the issue, then of course you're going to be sad, you're going to be discouraged, you're going to be depressed. But joy, it stays in faith. And like I said, it looks to the future it knows that this thing you're in right now is temporary and it sees the other side of it. You have to understand that happiness and joy are two different things. Happiness is based on happenings. They're emotional. They're fleeting. They're up and down. But joy is something that can reside on the inside of you no matter what. It's stable and it's secure and it's unchanging. It's unending. It can stay there even in the most challenging times. So it's not based on your feelings or emotions, but it stays steadfast. Joy remains steadfast. Now we know that joy is not automatic. It's not something that just comes on you, but it's something that you have to predetermine beforehand that I will remain in joy no matter what. We talked last week from John 15, and I want to read that again. It says, when you obey my commands, this is Jesus speaking, you abide or remain in my love, just as I obey my Father's commands and remain in his love. And he says, I have told you these things so that you will be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. That's when you're abiding, you're remaining, you're dwelling in him. Then he says, you're going to be full of my love. And then that joy is going to overflow. The Amplified says that your joy may be full, complete, and overflowing. 
So you see that connection that when you're abiding and you're remaining with the Father and in His love, that it, He can't help, but when He pours His love on you, then His joy is going to come all over you. It's going to remain in you and it's going to overflow out of you. It's abiding in His presence is when you're going to feel His love and be filled with His joy. Psalm 16 and 11 says, in your presence is fullness of joy. So again, like I said last week with pursuing love, to be full of his love, then you're going to have to spend time with him. To be full of his joy, then you're going to have to spend time with him. When you trust God and you believe his word, then it can give you the joy that you need to walk through the situation that you might be in right now. So I encourage you to put a smile on your face, to put faith in your words, and to put joy in your heart. I hope you got something out of this. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see other faith talks.